Hello everybody, it's Rebecca here at Wyvern Raids and welcome to my November wrap up. It's also Vlogmas Day number seven, I think. Yes, seven. So, um, yeah, I, this last couple months have been tough for me and reading, like, major slumpage is happening here. And I blame going back to school. I blame that. But I'm also, for November, I'm blaming NaNoWriMo because I did that. So I'm also gonna wrap that up in this video and kind of just the month as a whole. We're just gonna chat about November. So we'll start off with the books that I read. First book I read was Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, which I was supposed to read in October and didn't do. I started this at the end of October, but I, it did take me a couple days into November to actually finish it and I enjoyed it. I really did. So far, I'm really enjoying my year of Gaiman project and this was that pick for it. October, it was the October pick for it. Uh, I did give it four and a half stars, so it's one of the ones I've liked, I think, towards the top, like higher end on the spectrum. And it's basically just, it's the story of an angel and a devil and the end of the world, basically, is what it's happening here. And they're both trying to prevent that end of the world from happening. So it's really interesting, it's very tongue in cheek, and I love the two guys writing together. It was just, it was really funny. Um, and a really great, choice for October had I read it in October. Um, so if you like Neil Gaiman, I do recommend this one to continue on with that. It's it's pretty good. Next up, uh, I was preparing for Y'all Fest and trying to read as many books as I could of authors that were going to be there and I did a pretty good job. There were only, there was only one author that I met that I didn't read the book and that was Mistborn or Brandon Sanderson. Um, so right beforehand, I did read Not A Drop To Drink by Mindy McGinnis on Trina from Between Chapters recommendation. I'd been promising her that I would read this book for months and then I finally did in October and it was pretty good. It was not a five star read for me but it was a four star read for me and basically it's about this story, it's a story about a girl named Lynn who lives with her mother in a post an apocalyptic world basically where their water is very scarce and people are willing to do whatever it takes to get water and so she lives in this house kind of in the rural outskirts in Ohio and she has a pond that she has to protect she was raised with a very hard life uh, and a very hard attitude against that and so it's kind of just her story about dealing with that and coming to terms with that and it's it's a really wonderful little story it's got great characters the only pr i mean i had a problem because there was a girl named lynn and a girl named lucy and i would get them confused sometimes because the two l's with four letter names it was too much for me um and the end is it comes full circle so a lot of people have problems with the ending I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of some of the events at the end, but I understand the meaning and the the reasoning behind it. So I did give this four out of five stars. And I will read In a Handful of Dust, which is the sequel. And after meeting Mindy, like, I wanna like it more because she's so awesome. And finally, this is really sad. I only read about half of Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, the first book in the Grisha trilogy. This is not a long book. It's not a hard book. In fact, it's actually really enjoyable and I'm enjoying reading it. But I only made it about halfway through and I started this somewhere towards the beginning of the month. Like, I started this after Not A Drop To Drink before I went to Y'all Fest. And Y'all Fest was on, cause she was there and I was trying to read it before Y'all Fest and I didn't meet her so it's okay. Um, the office was November 13th, so I started it right before that. I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished. I'm about 50 pages away. I'm planning to finish like today or tomorrow, but that's pretty, that's pretty sad. That's pretty bad for me. Um, and again, it's not that I'm not enjoying it. I am enjoying it. It's a fantasy story set in like a, a Russian-esque world where people have powers um, the Grisha have powers based on like the different like elements and stuff like that and there's the guy named the Darkling that everybody's in love with and by everybody I mean not in the story although some of them are I mean like in real life people are in love with the Darkling I get it I mean he's like I get it and so there's this girl who has a power and she doesn't know she has a power it's got a lot of tropes, but it's enjoyable and I'm liking it. I just haven't finished it yet. So number one goal is to finish 
Shadow and Bone. So, you're probably wondering, um, so, Rebecca, you said that you read Good Omens, which was the October pick for Year of Gaming. What about the November pick for Year of Gaming? That would be a Nazi, boys. And I didn't even open it. It didn't happen. So now I have to read over in December Anansi Boys and the Graveyard Book. Well, I, I don't think the Graveyard Book will take me long because I've heard it's one of the shorter, it's like Coraline, right? It's really fast reads, it's really younger. I should be fine. Um, but I also have to read Anansi Boys too this month, and it's already the 7th of December. And I also have like 15 library books that I want to read before I have to take them back, and some other books I want to read. I have a book club book. It's been tough, guys. It's been tough. Um, I remember August when I read 12 books. Oh, to be in those days again. I only read two and a half this month. Two and a half! That's like before I started BookTube bad. That's really bad. That's really bad for me. And it didn't matter. It shouldn't matter because it's all about me anyway. It's not like I sh there's no expectations for me except for the ones I have for myself and I have high expectations for myself and I didn't meet them. However, I am going to throw a little bit of explanation your way for my poor reading habits. Um, school started in September and that's kind of when the downward spiral happened, although I would technically also say Booktubeathon, I think I was too much too fast, too hard that it was like, can't read anymore. But once school started, like, my, my light, you know, I have to focus on work again. That's what I'm doing. And then November was extremely difficult because it was NaNoWriMo, which by the way, I won. I hit 50,000 words, even though I was like so far behind. I was like 10,000 words behind at one point. The last two, or more than that, I was more than that behind. The last day, two days, I had to write 10,000 words. <laughs> in two days. It was tough. It was, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. I really didn't, but I couldn't not do, I had to do it. I had to do it. I couldn't not win. I could not not win. So I did, I won. Woo, I hit 50,000, slightly over. The story isn't done, there's still a lot to go, which is great, because it means that there's more room to expand and stuff, and I can actually like flush it out um, a little bit more which is great. I just have to do it and I'm taking a break right now because my brain hurts. And because every day I was focused on writing rather than reading since I was so incredibly far behind on writing. So reading took, definitely it was on the back burner because of that. Also, November was the first yearbook deadline, which meant I was up till midnight, like two different nights working on the deadline type stuff, which meant no writing and no reading happened. So, November was tough. December, hopefully, I'm hoping it should pick up because although we have another deadline, um, like next week, this week, I don't even know when it is anymore. Soon, soon, soon. Um, then it's Christmas break. And so I have two weeks off that I'm hoping I can just literally just sit and read. But we'll see what happens. Um, I also got Battlefront and so, now I saw, I've been wanting to play Battlefront 2 and like relieve some of that stress. So anyway, that's kind of my November life update, reading uh, wrap up and writing for NaNoWriMo wrap up, which go me. So let me know down in the comments below what books you read this month, what you thought of any of these two and a half books that I did read or how you did on NaNoWriMo or all three if you want. Happy Vlogmas and that's it for me today. I'll see you tomorrow.